Some they call it functional alcoholism But if you know anything about Ben He's got vision with precision Microphones and a tinkle of derision You're about to hear what beer can be It's time for Barley and Me Welcome to Barley and Me. I'm your host, Ben Rice. This is episode 160. What? Oh my God, 160. We're here today at Sackyard Community Tap House in Sacramento, California, speaking with my special guest of the It's Crazier in My Business podcast <laughs> and tonight's headliner, Tavi. Yeah, what's up? What's up? How are you? I'm fine. I'm exhausted. Uh, I didn't want to be here. Yep. Hello, but I'm here anyway. We agreed to the it. The parking and... sucked. Yes. <laughs> so I took an Uber. <laughs> yeah, from my house. <laughs> yeah, I came here, went to his house, was like, no. Could have just came and invited with me, but nope. Hey, you didn't, you didn't plan I, that in I advance, think, I didn't think it would be this crazy. Uh, yeah, it was bad, bad <laughs> And parking. then, of course, we're going to do Barley Me. you got to have a brewery here. So from Full Circle, the owner, Art Moye. Hello, hello. You own this place? No, he owns Full oh, Circle Brewing full, okay. in Fresno, full California. Brewing. Oh, sure. Yeah. And I wanted to be here because I have three kids at wow. home. And, uh, yeah, this is a little bit of an escape. So yeah. thank I, you for having me. I have one kid here, and uh, yeah. four comedians are going to bother me relentlessly. So I'm yeah. same thing, but during business hours. Awful, awful. And so uh, how's business at Full Circle? Oh, before we get to that, we should say you are here because of the Black History Month collaborations you guys are doing. Yeah, absolutely. We have two great four-pack Black History Month collaborations. Uh, one uh, spearheaded by Oak Park, uh, and uh, each one of the breweries at the Oak Park collaboration picked a, a person that uh, contributed to social justice and equality over time. Ours is actually Bessie Coleman, the first uh, black female pilot. So it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, I actually drank that beer on my beer podcast. Uh, sorry, basketball and beer podcast. Please dunk responsibly. Uh, we also drank that beer when we talked about some NBA stuff last week. Really good stuff, like awesome. usual. Typical full circle shit. All right. We appreciate Quality it. Stuff. Glad you enjoy it. Yeah, and obviously I know the Oak Polk Park guys, People's Beer thing. Uh, their second year doing it. You were also involved last year as well. Yeah, we were involved last year. Um, we also have another collaboration right. that we did, uh, and we have another four beers. Uh, and one of those is actually with na- Nappy Roots. So we had a, a oh, double nice. double Juicy from Nappy Roots. Uh, we've got a, a um, Sherbert Sour from Crown and Hops. Yep. We got a Kolsch. Uh, from Living Legends and War Cloud Brewing. Uh, so we're just do, doing a whole bunch of cool stuff. And our whole goal in this is just finding our community, you know. And, yeah. and that's something that's taken us five, six years to do. But now uh, we, we found it. Yeah. You know? So Yeah, and amazing. the guys over at Oak Park do a lot of work to make sure that they're celebrating black history every day. It's not just one month. Yeah, it shouldn't just be yeah, one month. The shortest oh. month. I didn't. Yeah. We don't disappear yeah. all the other months of the year. Yeah. But I was We're doing, still here. True that. <laughs> yeah. I was doing my episode. I was like, yeah, Black History Month. We mentioned it on day one. They go, hey, today's the last day. And that's the end of how <laughs> yeah. it's celebrated. Because that's fair. Uh, yeah. So anyway, how's business, other than that, how is business at Full Circle? Business is good. You know, um, you know, I'm not I'm, I'm not a, a brewer, commercial brewer by trade. You know, I was a CPA originally, you know, and I got into this thing, sold my accounting practice, purchased this brewery, and we just started it as like a little dive bar. Yeah. And we've just been growing along. Yeah, and now um, you know we're distributed in six different states. So no not shit. not something we we predicted, but we're glad we're here. Uh, but I'll be honest, it is a, it, it is now a job. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So you do this? We do oh, full, yeah. full time all into this thing. So, okay, yeah. I have a question. Please, Please you know beer. <laughs> okay. Why is beer so disgusting? <laughs> <laughs> well, have you tried our strawberry saison? I've n- I don't, yours. I probably haven't tried anything from you because I just met you tonight. We gotta yeah. get and I song? don't drink beer. Straight by strawberry saison. So that's our thing with our beers. It's mm-hmm. we call our beers gateway beers, right? Okay. So we hear a lot of people. I don't like beers, but I like I like your beer. You know, because okay. it's all all of our beers we try and make familiar. You know, so it's like sherbet beer that we have here as well is going to taste like sherbet. Strawberry like mm-hmm. strawberry. So if you like strawberry, you might like that strawberry saison mm-hmm. from oh, the claim. Bad yeah. news about Tavi and what? strawberries. Oh yeah. Does it have real strawberries in it? Or is it just artificial it strawberry flavor? It does have flavor? real strawberry I puree. can't have that. Oh, I no. will throw up. I am striking out. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, what do we... Sherbet? 
Does that have strawberry in it? No, uh, just, I don't know. I got to check that. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I don't think yeah. so. We might try that. If yeah. not, cold, straight up, smooth, easy drinking, lager. Yeah. E- it feels like there's a lot drinking. of strawberry beers. Well, everybody there loves is strawberry. Everybody, I mean, I used you know? to love it too before yeah. it started making me vomit. You know what's funny? <laughs> funny about that I, i'm actually allergic to straight up strawberries yeah, yeah. but the, so she yeah it's weird yeah it's weird. so yeah doesn't so, no. work but uh, you can drink the beer correct the strawberry i can beer? drink the beer yeah Tommy, but, maybe you but can if someone is like i'm not gonna try it but like, if someone is allergic i would not recommend it but <laughs> but it's a so very, it's here tonight bar. right it is here tonight we've got uh four beers tonight and we also have our our, our double in neipa Am I missing one? We've got the Kolsch. We've got the strawberry. That's three, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there's one yeah, because yeah, you got the double juicy from with Happy Roots, you double, said? Double juicy, yeah. And then there's one more. we got the Kolsch. Kolsch. And we got the Crown and Hops. Yep. Okay. And then... Ooh, Which is that strawberry sound? Oh, strawberry sesame. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, there's strawberry there's sesame. Sesame. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. You did All it. Right. We did it. You, we did it. you immediately had me eliminate... The strawberry from yeah, my mind. Yeah, out of your mind. Yeah. yeah. You should, as you should. I mean, yeah. if I can't drink it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> right. It doesn't exist. So no. how did you find parking? Uh, I got here uh, unreasonably early. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I, I, I just I parked like right outside the gate there. Yeah. <laughs> this parking situation is fat phobic and anti-black. <laughs> <laughs> if you were wondering tonight. That's awesome. <laughs> I just want the listeners to be aware of what I've had to deal with. <laughs> Well, you you still came in here like you know clean and presentable. <laughs> I took a nap yeah. and put on a beanie yeah. <laughs> in this hoodie, but yeah, you uh, know. Some people are sweating. I don't know. I've got a back injury and I'm hauling hey, all I kinds of stuff. I have a back injury too. I'm hauling kind of. stuff all over. I sweat at the drop of a hat. If I do any physical movement and sit down, I will start sweating just immediately. <laughs> it wasn't always like this. Oh, I was sweating earlier because they got that hot chicken here. Oh, yeah, the national nas- property. They got a chicken here? Yeah. Hot chicken. I had to recover. Yeah, no. did you get the hot, the hottest like, one? Like, is it really hot or are you just, no. like, kind of a pussy? No, well, you know. It's, it's, <laughs> I didn't know how to say that. I, I'm sorry. I feel like it's a combination. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but mostly, it's hot, man. If, if you order hot and you eat that, I will be impressed. And then I will be like, yes, I am well, a pussy. <laughs> uh, this is a topic that came up recently on your podcast, whether well, or not my girlfriend can handle spicy. Yeah. So yeah. you talk a big game. I do. Well, because so I feels eat. So, like, I mean, I'm oh, like a ghost pepper go girl, like oh. hot sauce. I, I'm that. We have, yeah, I, I, I got medium. Oh. And mm-hmm. it was. Yeah, but <laughs> judgment. I do like, oh, sorry, that's that judgment eyes awesome. for me. I'm sorry. No, I got, I got, I got medium, and it was, it was hot. Yeah, okay. yeah. Their it second, was hot. their second hot's pretty hot. So I was like, because I usually go second just in case I go crazy on the top yeah. one. And the Ooh. second was like pretty good. Then I came back and got the hot hot. I'm like, okay, there we go. That's the. I best don't know. Place. I need heat to feel something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm dead inside. <laughs> We should get we should get that. That yeah. might be this would be we like get, an episode we of get Hot a Ones or something. We should get a chicken. We should do that. Yeah. Do, you have, do we have a runner we can send out yeah. to yeah, yeah. Aaron the boy? For sure, for sure. Jeremy. They're gonna get some stuff. What do you you want a Kolsch? What is do you that? want an IPA? It's just a clean Pilsner light, crisp, refreshing, a little sweet. Yeah. No added flavor. Well, shouldn't it have a flavor if I don't like the way beer tastes? So, okay, so that's one of your options. The other thing is the double juicy IPA. That's going to be very fruity. Okay, then do like, that. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do a double juicy for this one. Okay. And I'll do the uh, Crown and Hops collab. Oh, okay. Sorry. We're not doing hot wings. No, we do want hot wings. Do you want hot yeah, wings? I do want hot wings. Sorry, okay. Sorry, but also beer to cool down. Okay. The hottest one they have. I'm trying to see what the fuck is up. Oh, no. <laughs> it's They're saying really hot, hot, and I'm trying to figure it's, out if that's if he's pussy or not. It's really hot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this, damn. This is... <laughs> we don't fuck why around do even, on barley. Why would they be on the menu if we shouldn't order them? I, I thought that, too. <laughs> it's like, y'all are uh, looking at me like they don't serve them. If it's that bad, why are they being served? He's looking at me crazy. Yeah. Because he's had them. He's had They're hot. <laughs> okay, yeah. Time is up. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, you'll see I want to see you eat them. If you could take them, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened to you? You ate them, didn't you? No, I, I can't get that far up. I can't get oh. that far up. Oh. I only got to like... Is there like oh, a no. whole list? Oh, 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 oh. Park Brothers like ate uh, the... Oh, there's eight? Medium. There's There's levels. 
Get the hottest one. Oh, no. Oh, okay, get the hottest one, though. Get the hottest one. That's how We're we do it. We're going to figure it out. Let's do it. We can do this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I believe. Can you handle spicy? Yeah. Yes. Like, you, can you see the concern on this man's face? I'm so having, much. I mean, so we may, hey, here's the thing. If we die, we die. A, it's gotta, just what it is. You got to be getting a little nervous. Because what's going to happen? <laughs> So then, it, like, we die, and then, oh, well. Probably, yeah. How much does it feel like you're at a doctor trying to explain your pain to somebody? Yeah. And they don't yeah. believe you. Yeah. I'm ready. Wait, the, the hottest? You want the hottest? Have you had the hottest one? No. no, no you're going to eat it, though. I had medium plus. I will try a little bit. Take a nibble. At the end of this thing. <laughs> we'll take the crumb that falls off. Because <laughs> I, I I went driving back to, back, back What'd to you say? Fresno. The Listen. <laughs> at this point. Anything else? They, they, they want a double juicy and a, and a the crown and hops. Yeah. Uh, and you can engage Mark. Oh, they didn't do the double juicy. Okay. They don't? The Oak Park collab we did, it's a hazy idea. Yeah. Something, do that. whatever. Get it. <laughs> Get she's it, not, I'll drink she's it. She's not a big beer fan, though. So, like, oh, we're going to figure this out. I don't. I but think it's can't disgusting. It tastes like bad soda. I can't do strawberry. So that's out. It's like more Kolsch because it don't taste like beer. So. I, what about the oh, no Kolsch? I think crown and hop. Okay. Yeah. Let's do Crown and Hops both sides. Whatever. I'm going to drink it. Have you heard about Crown and Hops? Nope. Great. Or, or, Tell or her about voice. that because i got to go start or warn the yeah, audience. Yeah, no, absolutely. Crown and Hops uh, is founded by Tio and Benny out of Inglewood. So they're the Who first they? black-owned oh. brewery in Inglewood. And just, mm-hmm. like, they're, they're, they're HSBU grads, super, mm-hmm. like, passionate guys. And they they were... They were what they call gypsy brewers. Have you ever heard of gypsy brewers? No. They just go from brewery to brewery and they do collaborations okay. and they hype, hype, hype. But they just recently signed a lease at a place in Inglewood. Yeah. So and, and they're just bringing it to life down there. Okay. And the coolest thing is their beer is going to be at the Super Bowl. So oh. this guy's an influencer. Yeah. You know, I, I, I try. I do these podcasts. But, you know, some, some people just have a, yeah. a, just a spirit, you know, and, then, and, and both of those f- folks do uh, just just love them. So. We did this 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 sherbet sherbet crown and hops with them, mm-hmm. and it is a, a sour, mm-hmm. but I, I call it like a, a tart. So just slightly tart okay. sherbet beer that okay. I hope you uh, I hope we can transition you into beer with this. And that's beer. what we're getting. That's what that's you what got we're me. Getting. So I, then I'm gonna taste you it. You eliminated okay. beer beer, strawberry beer. And, yeah, I'm we're, not we're, a beer fan. I had a Coors Light the yeah. other day that was warm, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was it was disgusting. That was the first problem. It was, it was, it was warm. No, you know what? I think I've tried beer so many different times at different, like either store bought beer. We've been because I've done a lot of shows at breweries. Yeah, like yeah, and, yeah, you know, I do comedy, yeah. so I'm out here, and everyone's always just like this beer, this beer, this beer, and I've, I think I've had like maybe one beer. Which one was that? Was like, and I don't remember it because I didn't yeah. care. Because yeah. it wasn't that good. Like, it was right. good, good for a beer. Like, you could be me. like, I, I could drink this. Yeah, like, yeah. I finished okay. it, but All it right. wasn't. So I'm waiting for somebody to get me a beer. Like, I'm a wine girl. You, I, so you, you like ciders, though? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, we, we own uh, Sonoma Cider. Do you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think they have that, that here, but we bought all the IP rights to Sonoma Cider. So okay. we have... Uh, a pear cider. We've got a bourbon cider, and then okay. we've got pear like, sounds know. delicious. Pear, yeah, that is that is that is probably one of our top ones. Mm-hmm. So we do have cider for you. I don't think it's here, but no. but next time, or if you give us your uh, your your contact info, we will send oh, yeah. you a what's called a whale pod, and it's what? just a it, it's just I think eight beers that we send to your house. As an influencer, and you could try it oh, out. Snap. You know? <laughs> oh, did he tell you I was an influencer? Okay, I mean, my 150k. I'll do good. a little video. We that's can make it happen. Good. That, that's pretty mm-hmm. good. Yeah, we <laughs> so, you know. No, absolutely. I would love to do that. Yeah, we'll exchange information after this. And we love comedy at yeah. Full Circle. And, mm-hmm. and in fact, com- the comedy show was like our only. Like we're all about entertainment. All about we call it beer tainment, right? Yeah. The fusion of beer and entertainment. Yeah, and during the pandemic, you know, obviously we couldn't like do the thing at our tap yeah. room. So we, the one thing that we consistently kept alive was our Sunday night comedy special via mm. Zoom. Oh, okay. It was pretty cool. Yeah. You know, sometimes these guys, get, you know, they're drinking. They got a little, you know, well beyond PG. 
but we kept it alive. So we have yeah. comedy shows every Sunday of all of all mm-hmm. types. With David who, Carrion. Now who books that? Oh, yes. David Carrion, the best dude. Who, He's so good. I don't know who yes. you know Dave. Ooh. You gotta know Dave. Dave's oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Tell yeah. Dave all right. to, to hit I'm me right up. back in. <laughs> yeah, you like nothing. <laughs> yeah. So if you He's guys ever do want to roll down there, you know, on Becky's done it hella times. Come down with Becky and Scott. Yeah, go. except for no one's ever told me this. Have you seen Becky Lane? heard about it. Do comedy? I'm pretty sure I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my girlfriend. Y- yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's the mother that's my, of that that's baby, that chocolateed baby Whoa, over there. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh shoot! Small world. Yeah. yeah. All right. So she's been to Full Circle. Yeah, like three or four Sunday. times. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, she's I'm, gorgeous. I'm, yeah. A, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a comedy dude. You know, Fresno needs more comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they used to have restaurants that did comedy and all that stuff, but they had screwballs for a while, which was a comedy. Have you club. ever done comedy? Have you like got on stage? Uh, I tell my wife that mm-hmm. I would, I, I want to, and then she says, you're not that funny. And oh. I, yeah, you know, and okay. she's, she's right. Well, at least you listen. Yeah, I do. I try to tell comics they're not funny all the time. They, keep doing <laughs> they just keep going. <laughs> keep going. I tell her, but I could write jokes. Like, hey, what do you mean you can write jokes? Have you written a joke? I've written a joke. I don't know. See, and this is why she's going to listen to this and be like, this is why you're not funny. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's, it's, I'm more a situational guy. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, like. You know, yeah. you can't create it on stage. No, I can't translate. It's hard. It I don't know how you guys do it. Yeah, to be fair, you haven't made me laugh once. Oh, right? you, yeah. I, you! I've seen you giggle like two or three times. Actually. I do that nervously. Yeah, well, <laughs> don't read into it. I, I will take. Don't read into I will it. take nervous giggling. That's, that's where you start. Mm. You start that's with nervous giggling. That's, that's, where, <laughs> that's, the problem. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. That's the problem. I've already made y'all laugh several times because I'm hilarious. That's but, true. Well, hey, you're, you know. you're, you're you're here. You're on the bike. You know. So. You know. But I, we do have a, a an artist that plays a guitar, Freeman, and he's starting to get into comedy, you know. So you kind of got to get your oh, set he's together. Oh, he's a musician. And he's, he's a musician, like, and he's like also okay. doing that, and he's pretty good. All yeah, right. Yeah. So you know, there's hope. I'll take it from you, there's the person who at, makes beer. Well, you know. Yeah. I'm an accountant too. <gasps> yeah. Still, I thought you stopped doing it to focus on beer. Well, he's I do. The like, like, of a brewery. <laughs> Ninety nine percent of my time is beer, but I still I still do accounting stuff. Like I do consulting. Okay. And uh, and the reason he's not a brewer is there's no accounting for taste. Nailed it. Oh, oh dang! That's, that's the worst joke. Of the night. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can do comedy because Ben is doing it. <laughs> yeah. So I set the bar so low. That's why if there's so many comedy. If you got anything better than that, you're in. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun part about like if you think you can do comedy, you just like. Go, like go on YouTube and search like comedian Sacramento, and you like watch a clip, and, and it's usually like, the worst comic that has one mm-hmm. like like that. You're like, I can be funnier than that person. That's, that's how, how I, I got into comedy. That's how I did it. I went, I went to an open mic and was just like, I'm better than they are. Yeah, that's and how you do it. Started. We had a viral co- comedian thing happen at our brewery. You know, Steve uh, Hostetter. Yeah, I saw okay, that. Yeah. You see that? You mm-hmm. know, he came to our our other location. And he's in about, Punchline in a few days. Is he really? Yeah, yeah he's he, he's funny. He's been there twice. And he's kind of a pro. He was a pro Fresno guy. He still is. But when he was on set, like we're in this bar, it's late night, you know, in our brewery, in our tap room. And these kids walk in and they're from the food truck. And there's like this troop of kids coming in. They're, they're trying to use a bathroom. And he's like, did you guys realize this is a bar? <laughs> you know? And then we have a we have a train that goes by in the middle of the skit. He's like, God dang, you guys are this close to the other side of the, the train tracks, right? And then he starts kind of bagging on Fresno. And one of our one of our patrons that probably had a few a few beers said, "Hey, stop fucking talking about Fresno." And then the guy sta- stands up and he's like, "Do you know who I am?" And as he's walking out, he says the one thing that makes this all funny, and he says, "I'm not good with words," and he just laid into him, and it got a million views. Oh wow! Yeah, out of Fresno. Okay. You look so amused by that story. No, I mean, yeah. I was listening, <laughs> I was listening I, intently. I watched that clip. I'm like, this is kind of a you had to be there. Yeah, I he, mean, I, I've watched a few of his clips. And I'm like, okay, I'll, oh, this one. I know this brewery. Right. I know this spot. I'm like, this is kind of a you had to be there. Story, I mean, I like Steve, Steve Hofstetter, so I yeah. feel the vibes. Yeah. I'm but like, if you know him, like, okay, I'm sure yeah, this was yeah. funny like, when you were there. It but like, funny. it's not one of his best clips. So yeah. how, do you get, how do you keep coming back on the stage with the, as a comedian? Shame. Like, I mean, yeah, self-loathing. Yeah. Do you guys just you just write the material and you keep just perfecting it? Yeah, delivery, that's what you do. I mean, I think like, you write a bit and then you go either mics, shows, whatever, try it out. It evolves. Like some, I have some jokes that I've been telling for years, but they're not the same as when I first started telling them because I've learned and right. I've added to them yeah. or I've taken away from them. Yeah, you just get up and keep doing it. How long have you been doing it? 
six years. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. All right. That sounds more upsetting than it should. <laughs> Here, I'm happy you, about I'll it. I'll make you feel better. 11 years. <laughs> 11 years. And uh, yeah. I probably have taken it super seriously for about two of them. So. And you yeah. get, like, just passionate about it, right? Is it just, yeah. Uh, it's, it's everything. I mean, I think that's... I have a tattoo that's literally comedy on my ring finger because... Married to it. It's I very like corny, it. but it's my oh, I the game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love it. I think uh, it's the one. Well, first of all, it feeds my need for validation. You know, I like to get on stage. People <laughs> validate me. You're so funny. You're amazing. Yeah, we love yeah. you. And then I'm like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> right. I didn't have a father growing up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this makes you feel better. That's so, yeah. also a big part of it. Yeah, you gotta have. <laughs> you gotta have a little bit of trauma. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, a little bit of sadness. Oh, we're getting some beers over Our here. Our beers here. Is this one mine? That's Thank you, yours. Jeremy. Oh my God! So Jer- Jer- Thirty people in line right now. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't get in yet. It's all good. Oh, you didn't get in. Oh, to the There's wings. Like Thirty chick- people in line for the chicken. So Jer- oh, for the chicken. Okay, so, so we'll this wait. is gonna. We're gonna do a sec- part two. I've done it before. I can turn off a recording and turn it back on. Yeah, totally allowed. By and mom. then we'll try the wings when they're ready. When yeah. we can get them. We're so serious about the wings. Am he I supposed wants to try them out? F- kind of make it nervous. So you want to give it a smell? You want to give it a sniff? Make oh, I, this is like wine. Oh, oh, oh. What do you think? I know. I have. Well, I haven't tasted it What's yet. What's the smell? Oh, hold on. Let me. I'm uh, sorry. I'm like I'm nervous because you don't like beer. I'm like. I don't know. It smells sort of citrusy. Oh, there you go. You want to give it a baby sip? A bait? Okay. Just a little baby sip. Does that kind of match what your nose said, or is it a little bit different than your nose No, said? it's like, it's matching what my nose said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's citrusy. It's a little sweet. A little vanilla. A little, a little okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. The vanilla's coming. <laughs> this isn't bad. Oh, oh, high we'll praise. Take it. We'll take it. Not, <laughs> not bad. Not bad is like no. I mean, on the I scale don't, of not, I don't beer like beer. So like, this like is actually pie. really good. So I gave you the, that's the sour. <laughs> Why do I feel like you want to fight me? <laughs> Who is this guy? That that's Jeremy. He's a mayor of Sacramento in the beer land and our self. I do like it. But why are you giving me a, why are you giving me a hard time? I knew you'd like it. That's all. No, you didn't. <laughs> all right. He was hoping. But yeah, if you want to walk her through the tasting oh, yeah. mechanisms, yeah, how does it work? Because this. I do yeah. wine, but not so, beer. Like, so a sour is going to be pretty good for you. Uh, that, and that's what we do. Is this people, what this is? A sour? People, it is a sour, but mm-hmm. we we don't like to call them sours anymore because there's such a range of sours, and it's like warhead status. So what I call this one is just slightly tart. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. it's almost like a it's almost like a champagne mm-hmm. juicy thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's reminding me of a mimosa. Yes, yes, that that is exactly what we're going for there. And it's got sherbet. We use literally drums. Uh, it's like fifty gallon drums of fruit in there. <laughs> you know, and there's That's three nice. drums of fruit in there, uh, and it just it. I don't know. It's just well, well, yeah. well balanced. Not. It feels really light. You know what I'm feeling like? It's not dragging on my tongue. Yeah, yeah. You can kind of. It's kind of it's a little nice. bit crisp. Kind of yeah. keep coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one of our favorite starts. We also have a whole line called the Pie of the Tiger. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and Pie of the Tiger is just our. It used to be hip hop puree Pie of the Tiger line, and each each, each version tastes like a different. Pot, right, so we got apricot, we got uh, oh. mixed berry. Oh. We're coming out with lemon meringue. Oh you my know? gosh! So sours are, are, are kind of becoming our thing, and it seems like the craft beer heads, yeah, like kind of dig dig sours, you know, yeah. Uh, and but we make them not tart enough to kind of turn off the everyday beer drinker. You know, we're just oh, trying yeah. to get the flavor out there. Yeah, absolutely. This is great. Awesome. In terms of like beer. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. We'll no, take I mean, it. I think I'm liking it more and more as I drink there it. You go. Oh, we got the yeah, lights right. on. <laughs> so so yeah. like what made you start doing the, the brewery thing? You said you're an accountant. You just were like one day I just want to make beer for the rest of my life. No, my my wife, and she probably regrets it to this day, bought me a Mr. Beer Kit when we were living in Daly City, mm-hmm. you know, and I just made it. And uh, just started having a little bit of passion for it. But I think the, what really clicked is, you know, as, as an accountant, you're kind of behind the scenes. You don't get all the appreciation. And I, I made a five-gallon batch of, like, what I called the banana wheat and took it to a Halloween party. And mm-hmm. people just went bonkers for it. 
Right. And they're like, where is this beer? Where can I buy it? I was like, nowhere. You know, and everybody just loved it. So it was just cool to uh, to have the science of making beer, the numbers of making beer. And then after you're, you're, you're done sciencing and numbering, you're putting your hands on the product, right? So you're actually producing something okay, with your well, skills. Okay, well, teach me because I don't know anything about beer. Yeah. <laughs> so what even is it? Yeah, so, so so basically all alcohol starts from some kind of sugar source, right? Okay, beer, I know that. I was in jail. There you I go. I made wine in jail. Yeah, right, right. So you know, yeah, it's, 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 same, I know how to do that. Same, same difference, but we're extracting the uh, sugar from uh, wheat and barley and the way we do that is is they will malt it. Basically, they will like soak the the, the little grains from the field and mm-hmm. make them sprout. And it's sprouting, and can't sprout because the plant is trying to get access to its sugar and its little little seed, right? Okay. So a, a malting house will make it sprout, and then they'll kiln it, and then they'll deliver it to us, and we will essentially soak that stuff just like a, a tea, right? And take all those sugars out of that and that th- those are the sugars that 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 start the beer process but it's not just the sugars we then feed those sugars to yeast and the yeast eat it up and produce alcohol you got to have yeast you have to you, mm-hmm. uh, yeah it's it, it's living like, yeah. beer is living so without that you you got just sugar water <laughs> so that's that's the process and then we add you know, hops, which used to be used for preservation of the beer. I don't even know what hops is. Hops is like weed. Weed? <laughs> yes, it's related to weed. It's just it's it's just a a a, a plant that that imparts now imparts flavor to the beer. You know, before it was just for preservation, but now we dump so many hops after yeah. it's done. We call it like dry hopping, and it just soaks up all the citrus. You know, all, all the nice vibrant uh, flavors yeah. and essence of the hops. So, okay. yeah. And we actually, believe it or not, Full Circle has an ownership in a hop farm in Sacramento. So we have a beer on tap here that is uh, brewed with hops from the Sacramento Valley. Yeah. It's crazy. So you will not like that one, though. Oh, because it's too. <laughs> it's, it's straight up beer. With like hops, I feel like we all have different <laughs> taste buds. Because what are cool. y'all are tasting that I'm not tasting in these beers? I don't know. You know what? For me lately, it, you know my my palate varies, right? Mm-hmm. You know, we do a lot of milkshake IPAs. You know, you might like uh, it, they taste like a milkshake. So we do. We got, oh, they taste like a milkshake. Yeah. I thought you were putting beer in milkshake, and I was like, I don't want to be. Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, not about that. <laughs> No, that doesn't sound great. We, we straight up like we have we have strawberry and blueberry and it's like a beer. We, we add lactose. Now what to about it. chocolate? We cho- we did do chocolate. That was not the it most. Didn't work. It was okay. It wasn't the favorite. You know, it's hard to get like chocolate to stay in beer without getting too much bitterness. You know. Yeah, because chocolate is naturally bitter. Yeah. Bad. So like. You know, we've done chocolate before, balanced with other flavors, mm-hmm. but uh, but we have had a chocolate illa. And some people tell us, like, why didn't yeah. you bring that back? But, you know, that... What we're about, always... like, coffee, cream? Yeah. We, like, hun- I love, a, like, I love coffee. A hundred percent. Actually, we, we did a, a, a coffee, coconut, marshmallow stout. <laughs> and I, that seems like that would be yeah. more... Mm. Doesn't even taste like a beer. Yeah, <laughs> it tastes like. It, that's it, what I'm looking for. Yeah, it tastes like. Looking ice for cream. beer that doesn't taste like beer. Yeah, yeah, and we, and we and we've got that. Uh, but hop, it's 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 just a the the creativity that can go into the beer is infinite. limitless. It's yeah, just, right. You just and that's our thing. Like it, we we just get around, and I feel like we're one of the few breweries who it doesn't matter who you are in the brewery. We have a channel on Slack, which is our like just communication tool, and we just brainstorm, you know. Yeah. And sometimes we ask, we ask the public what they want to see. Okay. You know, and we're like, "What do you want? To, what's your next flavor?" And I'll, I'll, so honestly, do you do that on like social media? Social do you like media. reach out to them? Yes, yeah. Where do you want? Just Instagram? Well, we're on Instagram and Facebook, but Instagrams are definitely our thing. Right. You have know. you ever thought about TikTok? We do have a we do have a TikTok. You too. have a TikTok. Yeah. It's is starting, it booming? It's it's one guy that's doing our TikTok, <laughs> and we had like a, a island <laughs> boy spoof, with our, and it actually got a lot of views. We were surprised, you know. But uh, yeah, we we got one TikTok. Yeah, Instagram is our is, is like our, our home base, 
and it, it seems, and we did ask Instagram people, "What do you want to hear?" Yeah, or "What do you want to taste?" And they said, "Someone commented roast beef. They wanted a roast beef milkshake." That sounds disgusting. Yeah, and we created a label and and, and told everybody this is our next illa, and people were excited to try it and absolutely angry that we would even think of it, you know. And then we we said, you know, April Fools, right? And people were like. Come on. Actually mad that we, did, we yeah, didn't put it out there. You got a sorry or two. Is it over? Are we done? Yeah. I think we'll pause, right? Can we get the wings? Because we talked a bit. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we had some we'll good get stuff. the wings and do a second part. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. It you can pause for station right? identification. The chicken is here. We are back. We are hot mic, ready to go. Let's see what this is. So this it's, is not a, it's not a wing. Proper. It's just the bur- like Fucking hot. I believe it's the hottest level. Cluck and okay. hot. I hate onions, so I'm going to just eat the, the chicken part. That, that is the hottest. Yeah. I thought I only got a wing, but they gave me the whole sandwich. They're like, just, we got to get out of here. That's what yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let me t- taste it. All right. Now y'all hype me up. Now I'm getting nervous. <laughs> just in a set. You're hyped up. I'm nervous. Your senses are on fire. <laughs> this is not the hot. This is just like regular. This okay. Arch just got regular ass chicken. <laughs> No, y'all are lying. No? Get a big old bite of that, Tavi. This is <laughs> great radio that we're doing here. I like it a lot. I have done a hot wing or, or a hot. There's no yeah. way. This is a hot one. No? There's no way. Let me get a, let me, can you peel me off a piece on this one? That's what he said, dude. Let Break me off a piece of that's allegedly hot. This doesn't even feel hot. Mm-mm. No, you know no. nothing. nothing. No, this is, this really? is medium. This can't be the hottest one. This is not having be, had be, had this before. This is not. This is medium level. Mm-hmm. This is like, hey, did you have you heard of spice? We tried it. No way. Dude, he just. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's you. No, because no, Ben's I will it confirm. Too. This is not no, hot. Not, not. You're like, hey, have you heard of jalapeno? We put a sprinkle in. Oh. You think that one's the one? That All right. right, Art found the hot this one. This one. We only got one hot one. <laughs> Oh, it, it feels like it. Chicken eating thing here with the headliner. Yeah, that, you're right. That doesn't. Look oh hot. my god! Make it a spectacle. Here we go. <laughs> so this one is the hot one. Allegedly, I think so. Let's get some light. You up. want these? No. Since you know what it hot is. Honestly, that looks that looks, looks way hotter. That one looks a little hot. That one looks like it's hotter than that one. You're right. That one doesn't look hot. It doesn't look hot at all. They lined them Break all me up. off a piece of that. Oh, oh, that's a piece. I feel like we got to get the cook out here because oh. we got he was, questions. He was all Bring like, Nash and Proper, you've been called out. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, this is the one for her. The white guy says it's not hot. <laughs> I've been bamboozled. No? No. There's no way. Oh, no. How? Maybe he doesn't even register. I don't know, man. Are any of these clean napkins? <laughs> Jeremy, did you doubt our ability to handle hot and you ordered like two levels down? <laughs> Have we been... No, I when when, when I rolled up there, I said, "Hey, they want they want hot, but I think I am going to just get medium, so they feel good about themselves." And they're like, "Nah, we're gonna light her ass up." That's what he said. That's what he Let's said. Let's go. We gotta drag him out here. I'm I, sorry. Find me this man. I think we should. Ben, have you had you had the? I've hot, had right? this. Yeah, this is not the hottest one I've had. All right, I think we should talk to this guy. Like, I should be... Well, or I'm just as great as I said I was. So. <laughs> yeah, or, also true. Or that. When I'm getting used, back to my old habits. I used to be like a spice king, we, and now yeah, it does should, hit me. Should we get him? Oh, bring him out. Bring him out. Okay, okay we're bringing him out. <laughs> this is oh, how we, we do on Barley and Me. Yeah. That's why I'm wondering. Like, maybe this is Yeah. No, I do want to warn. I am a hot wing eating champion. Just a heads up. Are you willing to admit that on the record that you're weak? I'm not. Not yet. I've had Nash and Proper visits. Probably the third hottest version of it. Maybe. Maybe the third level hot. This is not clucking hot. This better not be clucking hot. I don't think it is. Tavi, how's your set? Oh, I was amazing as usual. True. That's what I do. Handling business. I tell these jokes. I was about to do, do, uh, drew the sign to like, just keep going, man. They're loving it. Keep going. I'm like, nah, Tavi's going to come murder this crowd right now. And um, my daughter has been asleep the entire time. Heard your voice. Like, what? Is that my grandpa? Yeah, my baby woke up. Grandpa Dr. Tavi? Dr. Grandpa Tavi, sorry. She's such a good little baby. She's just yeah. sitting there, chilling. Yep. So basically what we've decided is that either they gave us hot and I'm amazing, or it was a lie. It was a lie. That's my vote. This is a lie. 
we've been lied to. There is one untouched chicken <clears throat> sandwich. Is this? Does this look like a hot sandwich? This untouched sandwich? I don't even smell heat. No. There's no. It looks bland. It doesn't smell hot. Like I'm calling them out too. I love a hot. We waited an it. hour for this, yeah. and now I'm being drug around. At this point, I think you guys are trying to give me hot stuff to try to ready to like compound the hotness. Yeah. Stack. So it. now I've eaten two hot things, and then they're like, "Well, this one's hot." And it's like, "Yeah, because y'all are packing my pellet full of heat." Yeah. It's a trick. She You're not going to catch me slipping. Uh, one second. We loved her. Tommy's great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. I brought the man. Oh, he's he's going to oh, He got a special. He got a special. All right. Special a special? <laughs> I, heard, I heard it wasn't hot enough for you. It wasn't hot. hot. I was wondering what they were bringing to me. Well, well you got to try that one for me. All right. Uh, Nash and proper. Uh, that was just a regular piece of bread. Yeah, you want to get out of the thing? No, you're good. It does look. This looks hot. This. <laughs> I, hey, we all right. Woo! All right. Well, let me heat. get it. Let me Maybe get it. Don't it. forget that Art needs a bite of this. A little oh, tiny no. bite. A little teensy tiny you bite. Want? Yeah, of course oh. I do. He's about to sweat. Oh no. I don't know one. I'm, I I'm not gonna lie. I can't handle this. <laughs> oh, Art doesn't want it. I'll, I'll have a Here, little. Here, you can pit, break yourself up. Yeah. Just a little little breadcrumb. Just a little breadcrumb. Just a little touch. A now little... I'm scared. Don't be. Because this one looks nice. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Untouched. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just going to talk like a human being. Oh. Oh. Okay. How's it going? I'm doing fine. <laughs> I am a, I am a I hot wing eating champion. Like, There's I video. Like, I got about like that. Okay, much. I'm home. So <laughs> There's a cheat to it. <coughs> so when you order the sandwiches, you have all your components that cool it down a little bit. I ate but just we, the chicken. Did you? Don't play with me. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, he, we'll give you your own chicken. Again, okay. <laughs> that got a little cough, but I think it's because of the dry. Yeah. I don't think it's because of the hot. Well, okay. I mean, here's the thing. We can't all be me. That's right, true. That, that's true. Can't that all be me. Some of us are made built different. You know what I'm saying? No, that is true. Now, we do get yeah. a few people that come in and be like, our clucking hot is... No it's That's good though. Had, it is definitely yeah, hot. I can see why it's hot for y'all. Yeah. It's tasty. I, I don't. I don't I go past about, medium. I, I got about yeah. that much. And that I, I uh, beat the Wing Dome in Seattle's uh, hot yeah, thing. Yeah, we should uh, go. We with need three to minutes to like spare that. and a ten minute clock. Like I'm a uh, old hat at this. All right, you guys have a good night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. So much. Thank you though. Thank you for doing it. All right. Now we know where Art's at. The middle. All right. It was too hot for you. You know, you still here. You living? Oh, I'm not leaving. Okay. Yeah. This is like it's a cool down. A little bite, dude. It's a cool down slice. Oh yeah. Jeremy, since yeah, you... yeah, get it, get it. <laughs> Drew, how's the hot chicken? All right. So, uh, what do you guys? Want, anything you need to talk about before we get out of here on this podcast? <coughs> things are going on at full circle. Things going on in the world of Tommy. Um, no. Great. Well, we're uh, on the on the 19th of February, right? We're having all these great breweries down mm -hmm. to Fresno. Fresno is a gateway to. To the Sierra Mountains, we got Yosemite, we've got Sequoia. Um, so, if anyone wants to come down, have a good time, have some entertainment in, in downtown Fresno, that's the time to be there. We'll have all the people that were involved in these two collabs there pouring beer. Ooh, yeah. yeah. All right, come on down, and we got comedy. Yes, <laughs> book Tommy. You she, should. I'm hilarious. She just did a whole thing for you. Yeah, so, you know, she could too. Man. She's real Murder. good. <laughs> All right. All right. So this has been episode 160 of Barley. Before we get out of here, where can people find you online, Tavi? Let's start with you. Since you're drinking a beer, ten toes on the pavement, hanging, banging, slanging that thing, thanging. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Tavi ta talks trash. You also have a podcast. What yeah. is it? It's crazy in my business. How's it? How's it work? You uh, submit advice or questions, and we give you advice. With Becky Lynn, I oh, engineer it. All right. And Art, where can people find Full Circle? What can, and well, if, you want some, if you want some beers delivered to you in California, go to Full Circle to Go. Full Circle to Go, the number two, and you can get our, your beers delivered all over the state of California right to your home. Now, is that Full Circle number two go or Full Circle to Go number two at the end? Uh, full Circle number two, so the number two go dot com. Perfect. And then as far as social media, where can they find you, find out what your events are and things like that? Full Circle Brewing Co. on Instagram. Hell yeah. And I've been Ben Rice with Barley Me. You can follow Barley Me across social media at Barley and Me Pod. Uh, if there's other things I'm doing. Please don't respond to me on my basketball and beer podcast. We compare players to beers. 
themes to breweries, styles to eras. It's a whole thing. It's fun. Uh, and I do all these comedy shows and stuff. Yeah, who cares? I'm doing things. You know about it. And if you don't, there's links and Instagrams. This has been episode 160 of Barley Me. I've been Ben Rice. Uh, Tommy, thank you so much. You're welcome. Art Moyer, thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. And thanks so much for listening. Get home safe. <laughs> <laughs>